And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, 60s on Sunday, 50s today. It's really hard to beat. Uh, starts the week quite like this. And as it is leap day, we only get these once every four years or so, or at least it seems like. But now March is beginning, coming in like a lion, out like a lamb. That's the saying. That's exactly what we can look forward to for the month of March, at least for March 1st. Big changes on the way with rain chances, wintry mixture, and snow arriving in your forecast in short order. Right now, we're dealing with plenty of clear skies, a lot of sunshine, temperatures warming up into those 50s. 53 here in Lafayette, that is your current temperature and your high temperature for the day today. Winds from the southwest, 13 miles per hour. That humidity, very low, only in the 40 percentile range. We're looking at pretty comfortable conditions across the region. Temperatures in the 50s across the region. 53 right now, Burlington, 56 in Dayton. You can see some of that cloud cover across the far northern portion of the viewing area being held at bay, at least for the southern half of the region. All thanks to a round of high pressure off to the south of us. This is sitting over parts of Tennessee as well as Kentucky and will eventually continue to roll eastward in the coming 24 hours to 36 hours or so. Off to the west of us, more importantly, a round of low pressure. This one centralized over parts of Kansas as well as Nebraska. This low situated further off to the west of us will continue to roll eastward over the next 24 hours. And as it occurs, it will go right over Greater Lafayette, bringing chances of rainfall. Then as temperatures begin to gradually fall, we're looking at chances of wintry mixture. And yes, even more accumulating snowfall in your forecast. So there's a frontal boundary just off to the north of us generating that cloud cover. That will begin to sink southward during the overnight hours. And as that occurs, we'll see increasing cloud cover, but should remain dry prior to the beginning of your Tuesday morning commute. We should be looking at mainly cloudy skies kicking off early tomorrow morning. But there's your low pressure system, stone to the north, rain to the south. And that low will be tracking right across the region for tomorrow. Your snapshot forecast this evening, Bob Young sending in this gorgeous image of Columbian Park in Lafayette just after the snow last week. Temperatures? Not exactly snow-like. 49 degrees by 7 p.m. Falling to 40 by midnight. We'll bottom out tonight at 35 here in West Lafayette. For tomorrow, big changes. That round of low pressure swinging right over the viewing area, bringing rain chances to our western counties around 8 a.m. Eastern time. Chances of wintry mixture as early as about 11 a.m. to noon for our northwestern counties to about 1 p.m. here in Lafayette. That's when the wintry mix starts. Then we can see snow chances after that point across the entire viewing area with a heavy band of snow moving across the region after about 5 p.m. to about 10 p.m. Thereafter, we finally dry out and cool off. Temperatures tomorrow warming all the way back up into the mid-40s. That will occur early, and then the snow chances begin. We're looking at anywhere between 1 to 2 inches of snow accumulation across the entire viewing area. P chances of that snow once again between about 1 p.m. through about 10 p.m., depending on where you are across the viewing area. The lowest chances of snowfall possibly our northwestern counties, but a few models showing as much. It's about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters here in Tippecanoe County. By the time the situation comes to an end, late Tuesday, early Wednesday, we fall down to 34 degrees Wednesday, Thursday. Good news, guys. Another round of snowfall headed our way. Yeah, well, this is going to become uh, few and far between. Yeah, hopefully. All right, hopefully. thanks, Kim. Yeah. Just ahead, the IRS.